Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be insulating the uh, heated bed of the Tron XC X5S. So we're going to do this a little bit different. When I did the Creality CR10, I used, uh, well, there'll be a link below in, in the episode I used. I did, so I used plumber's felt along with some automotive uh, reflective insulation. Now that cost well, probably about 25 bucks to do that bed insulation and I, and, and I personally think that was quite a bit of money um, for what it got back out of it. So when I went to do the Tronaxi I wanted something potentially better and cheaper and I think I found it here. So what I'm going to use is I've got this off eBay. I'll have links to this below too. Is um, it's it's uh, an insulative ceramic fire blanket, and it's about a half inch thick is what I got. And what I'm going to do is uh, this is a pretty big piece. I forget how big. I think it's like two foot by four foot. So I could actually do a number of beds. It was about eight dollars U.S. shipped to me. And then what I'm going to use is some of this um, aluminum aluminum aluminum. If I can spit it out here, aluminumized tape. I don't know if I got that right, but you guys get the idea. Uh, I typically find this in, in HVAC applications for sealing ductwork. So I'll have links to this uh, too on Amazon, so if you want to get this. Now, what I've done is I've already cut a couple pieces, and I've also notched it out for the um, uh, screws on the bed. Now, I'm going to do this on the... I'm just going to flip over the bed on the Trinexi, so this is going to be a little bit difficult. Also, utilizing or cutting the ceramic, I'm going to be using a dust mask and gloves when I handle this, so just know that. And so, um, again, I'm going to kind of put, you know, I think you guys can figure out how to cut this. Not big, I'm just going to use scissors. Uh, and then I'm going to install it on the Tron Xe. So, um, I think you guys can figure out how to cut it. So I'm not going to show that piece, but I am going to show parts of the installation on the Tron XE and how I'm going to put it on with this tape. It's a little bit hard because of the uh, positioning of the printer and everything. And I'm just going to flip the bed around. But let's get over to the Tron XE, then we'll take a look at it uh, going on. Okay, so here we are at the Tron XE. I've got the bed just flipped over on its supports. And what I've done is I've put down this initial uh, layer of tape on both sides. And then, as mentioned, I've cut the uh, ceramic blanket uh, roughly to fit. Now, one of the pieces, this blanket, uh, or sorry, the actual um, heating element on this is not really as big as this whole um, bed is. It's actually only about 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So I've covered most of it with this, basically at about uh, you know 11 and a half and 11 and a half is what I've cut this down to. And then so I'll actually taper it back with this aluminum tape. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish taping this up. I'm going to do it uh, sort of as a time lapse. But you'll get an idea of how it all goes together. Okay, so we're back. I went off camera a little bit to kind of clean this up after the time lapse. Uh, so I put a couple other strips on here just to make it look pretty. And uh, I also put, put a piece of cap on to hold this together uh, because it might take some torque from this. And one thing you noticed is I did uh, cover this with cap tape uh, before putting the uh, ceramic insulation on. So basically, um, this is done. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and reassemble the uh, bed, reattach the wheels, and then I'll get some floor shots. So we'll come back and take a look at that in a little bit once I get uh, uh, this all reassembled. We'll come back, we'll take a look at some floor and see what it all looks like and see how it works. So far, so good. This right here, uh, I just want to correct myself. When we were at the bench, I said that was about 2 by 4 That was actually... Um, one by two for seven bucks. So this piece here, this is probably a little short of four bucks. So by the time you figure the tape, probably five to six bucks to do this um, uh, installation, which is far cheaper than the um, CR10, which is over there. 
Uh, I think that that probably is closer to the $20 range, maybe $15, $20 range. So it's more expensive. I think this will also be better um, because this uh, ceramic insulation is some uh, pretty interesting stuff. So anyways, let me reassemble this and we'll come back and we'll get the floor on it. Okay, welcome back. So I've got this set up and uh, I've set it for 70 degrees C. Now, one of the things to note, I've never gotten it even up to 50 degrees C. So I've now gotten it. It is actually now reading uh, 70 degrees C on the controller, but on the Fleur, it's reading 74 degrees. Um, don't worry if you, I'm gonna do some overlays in this little black spot. I got some pixels going bad in the Fleur, uh, unfortunately, but in general, you get the idea. So that's just in the Fleur itself. Uh, but anyways, so I'm now at 75 degrees, reading roughly, uh, reading 70 on the controller down there. So uh, this is overshooting a little bit, uh, according to the FLIR anyway, at least in the center. You'll notice in the overlays, the distribution of the uh, heat is uh, pretty much uh, center to the center of the bed. So anything uh, to the outside uh, drops drastically. Let's see if we measure it out to the side. So if we go to the side, yeah, it's still pretty close. We're about 69 degrees to the edge and about 75 degrees at the core. So we drop about six degrees. So the bed's got probably a six degree slant temperature wise to it. Now, the interesting thing is with this one, I can get to the bottom of it and uh, I'll overlay a fleur. And so that's about 25 degrees C. So there's about 50 degrees C difference between the top and bottom. So this is definitely doing its job. Now I can put my hand down underneath it and it, it does feel a little bit warm, but it's uh, again, the floor is saying it's only about 25 C. So I would categorize this as a big uh, win. Because again, uh, before doing this modification, I could not get it past 50 C and now I'm easily at 70 C. Now it did take me 15 minutes, one five minutes to get to 70 C. But uh, that's really not bad. It's probably twice as long as the Creality takes uh, to come up to temperature. Um, but one of the problems, I think, with this, again, is the uh, uh, single threaded power, if you will. I'm definitely going to run another power line. The power supply can handle it. Uh, that's going to be my next mod. And I think once I do that, uh, I'll be able to get this to heat up a lot faster. So anyways... I'm going to classify this as a big success, a big thumbs up. For roughly five bucks, I've gotten, you know, a good another almost 25C out of it. I've got to do something I couldn't get it to do before. So again, I highly recommend it. So uh, again, I would, I'll put the links below to uh, where I got this on uh, the, the ceramic insulation off of uh, eBay. And you can go pick up some if you want to try it. Again, I definitely suggest using... Uh, gloves and uh, rest, mask while you handle it because uh, it does break out some fine particulates so but anyways I'm pretty happy with it so again swag shops gonna be up there subscribe over there you know the routine hit the comments below if you got any questions about this and hey we'll see you guys in the next video cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all